Hi, Beth. Um, this is a video about how to add email addresses, and I remember now why I haven't added them yet, uh, because I had a question, and I may or may not have sent it. I don't know. Everything was like super busy back then, so let me just do an email, I mean, a little quick video on how to add email addresses, and then I am more than happy to add them for you. You just need to tell me what kind of email you want, and let me show you that right now. So you go to admin.oneandone.com, and you log in. Excuse my, hopefully it's not gonna show you any, okay, good, I have it right here. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna show you someone else's email address, I mean, password, login, but it didn't, so that's good. So then you go to the second option here, email. And there's two ways you can do this that are both create, uh, both, um, what do you call it? Uh, part of your hosting package, you can do email forwards, which gives you an email address like info at thunderbirdorigins.com, but it never lands in this email box. It forwards direct to wherever you tell it to. So if you wanted info at thunderbirdorigins.com to forward to thunderbirdorigins at gmail.com, this is the option you would use. So you would never have to go to the webmail at one and one or Ionos to check your email. You would just check it through your um, Gmail and then, you know, you'd be done. The only negative to this is that when you hit reply to the email, it's going to show your Gmail address. It's not going to show info at thunderbirdorigins.com. So there's that. Or there's just the basic email address, which you would have an, a webmail, webmail.oneandone.com, to come here and log in and um, retrieve the email. So those are the two options. And of course, you just hit create on whichever one you want. I mean, you know IT stuff, so this is pretty straightforward. So you just put in you know, the first part and select the domain. You only have one, so it defaults to that one. And then give it a password, and there's some rules, you know, like capital letter and number. It'll tell you once you start to enter it, as you can see. So um, I'm not gonna create this right now. Um, as you can see, if you add virus protection or archiving, I never add these, I never use these, I use the anti-spam. But if you have at least some knowledge of how um, scamming works and phishing and all that on the internet, then you probably don't need that, but that's up to you if you wanna add it. Um, so, uh, but if you click this, of course, it's gonna add to your contract and add to your monthly fee. So, um, and then you just hit save and it's done. So I guess let me know which of uh, which version of this email you want, and I'm happy to set up the email addresses. I think on I don't think there's a limit to how many email addresses you can have this way, or if there is a limit, it's something crazy high. Um, let me see, did it say when we went in here? No, it did not. So. Um, I've never hit the maximum number of email addresses on these accounts, so that part's good. It's not like GoDaddy where you only get one. So just um, let me know which kind of email you want here, and um, I will look for what email addresses you want it added, or if you want to send me that list again, of course, that would be helpful. All right, thanks.